There was a Russian physicist back in the 70s, I think, called Andrei Sakharov, who came up with three conditions that had to be satisfied to allow matter to win this battle with antimatter in the early universe. The first one, pretty obviously, is you need a process that makes more particles than antiparticles. That's number one. The second one, though, is this condition known as CP violation. So CP stands for charge parity, which is a sort of symmetry that re relates matter to antimatter. It's kind of like a mirror. If you sh put matter in the CP mirror, uh, it shows up as antimatter. So what we're looking for are processes that violate this symmetry. And these B mesons that the questioner asked about, so these are particles which contain a beauty quark and another quark, so like uh, paired up with an antiquark usually. And there are a particular type of these particles that do this really weird dance where you create one of these B mesons and as it travels through your experiment, it oscillates backwards and forwards between matter and antimatter. So it will flip its identity with this very nice sort of periodic way. And you can what you then do is you watch how often does it decay in the matter state and how often does it decay in the antimatter state. And you measure the difference. And if you see a difference, that tells you that the laws of the universe violate this, this CP symmetry, this symmetry between matter and antimatter. So this is the kind of key ingredient, one of the key ingredients we need to explain this mystery.